What up everybody, it's DJ Alpha Tyler. We are back again with another Monday Morning Motivational, except for two weeks in a row now, y'all ain't getting it until the evening. And so, you know, whatever, I'm sorry. But I think y'all gonna like this one because I was reading a, not really a poem this morning, but I was reading this piece. It's called Let Life Be. And I just want to read it to you guys to share this or to start this off. It's called Let Life Be. It says, let the little things bring you joy. Let the big things give you inspiration. Let the challenges make you more determined. Let the problems bring out your skills. Let your differences with others build a pathway to a new understanding. Let your fears show you how to exercise your courage. Let the noise and confusion teach you to be more focused. Let the annoyances, distractions, and interruptions strengthen your patience. Let the new moments come. Let the past go. Let experience show up and teach you its lessons. Let life be as life will be. And let yourself grow more alive, more capable, more purposeful, and effective as a result. And that's by Ralph Marston. Now, when I read that this morning, uh, that kind of gave me a hope. Because, I, you know, th there's a lot in that. Uh, but what I really want to focus on, you know, are a couple of things. You know, we're, we're talking about struggle and we're talking about getting stronger. And, you know, we all know if if, if you're a Bible believer, you know, you know, as, arpen, as iron sharpens iron, so should another man sharpen another man. And, you, you know, what that really brings me full circle around to is through struggles, through trials, through weaknesses, through issues, through failures, through collapses in communication, through whatever. Always look for the good. Always look for the strength. Always look for how that's going to grow you. You know, when you have an issue with another person, probably when that comes full circle, you're going to find new understanding with that person. You're going to find new opportunities with that person. If you have differences, you know, if you have fears, you're going to have to overcome those fears. Look for the positive in every single thing that is going on around you. Look for the good in what is coming out of a bad situation. Look for the good that's coming out of that situation. Because there's nothing that we endure. No matter how hard it is, no matter how bad it is, no matter what you're going through, how tough of a struggle it is, there's always a strength. There's always a weapon that you're gaining that's coming out of this situation. You know, down the road, that's going to be a situation that has equipped you for a similar encounter but now you already know how to handle it, or you already know what's going to come out of it, or you can at least see your flaws in that situation to stop from making the same mistakes, so on and so forth. You know, we hear a lot, history repeats itself. History does not repeat itself. That's a myth. That's the first thing that you, that you learn when you start studying history, is that history is not set on some infinite loop, you know, doomed and destined to repeat itself. We just refuse to learn from history. And I, that's a lot of what I get from that passage that I just read, is making sure that we're taking the lessons of the paths that we've walked, of the paths that we're coming across, whatever the case may be, we're taking those lessons, we're taking that understanding, that new knowledge, and we're benefiting from it, we're growing from it, so on and so forth. And so, you know, one thing I would like to close on, because I always try to bring some, some scripture into this, and I was looking at 1 Chronicles 16 today, and I got to, you know, we, we're all really familiar with 1 Chronicles 16, 8. If we're familiar with the Bible, that's the verse, even if you don't know it right off, uh, that's the verse that says, give thanks unto the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people. Share your testimony. Give thanks to God. Give praise to God. Always share God in your life as you're going about it. But if we skip ahead a little bit, First uh, Chronicles 16, 9 says, sing unto him, sing songs unto him. Uh, talk ye of all his wondrous works. But then 10 is really the key right here. Glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. And 11 says, seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face continuously. Always look for the good in every situation. And what is God? God is the definition of good. Always seek God in every situation. And you're going to find a stronger pathway, stronger interactions, more positive encounters, and just a better overall sense of understanding and peace. That's all I got for you guys today. 
I'm definitely seeing this play out in my life. I hope you guys are too. Hopefully there's a way that you can see how this fits into whatever you're going through. But I appreciate y'all hanging out with me, watching this, checking it out. If you're new to the channel, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. If you're been with the channel, make sure you like and share and comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know where you're at. All that good stuff. But I appreciate y'all stopping by, hanging out with me for a minute. I'm DJ Alpha Tyler. Hope you're staying safe, taking care, having a great start to your week. And I'm going to catch you guys next time. <sighs>